So guys, my project today is to create some kind of a platform that I can do squats with these big purple bands on. Like explosive, core squats, half squats, whatever, just stuff to improve my jumping. So when I put these on, on my feet and I put them over my shoulder like this to do some type of squat stuff like this, it works decent. But ideally, I would get more resistance on these. The reason I don't get more resistance is because I'm just not stretching the bands out far enough. Like if I was able to stretch them out another six to 10 inches, I would get a lot more resistance on them. And there's really no way to fold the bands and keep them folded because if you put this much pressure on them, they're gonna unfold even if you zip tie them or something like that. So I'm gonna find a way to make a platform to stand on and make them longer. So I'll show you what that's going to look like, the general idea, and hopefully this works out good. So this is the plan, guys. I wanted something cheap and easy, so I got a couple of three-inch PVC pipes, so this is going to be basically like the base of the box here. Um, four different corners for a base. I got this PVC pipe, which was like two bucks, so I'm probably going to cut this right in half. And then the bands are going to go around this PVC pipe and these are going to stop it from going through the top of the wood here. That's the way I'm going to anchor it. And this is going to be my base. So, um, Menards didn't really have a super good selection of what to buy. So this is what I went with. One by 12 by four foot poplar. So I'm going to cut this directly in half. I'm going to stack it on top of each other. And then on the bottom piece, I might have to like drill out for the base here. Otherwise, maybe I can just set it right on top of the base without having to drill it out. But I think when I'm doing my squats and stuff, if it's not secured, I might shake it out. So we'll see the whatever way I'm gonna figure out how to put these on here. I guess if I got some really good glue, I could probably do that too, but I don't know how sturdy that's gonna be. So I might have to cut out uh, sections and then just put these in but that might weaken the board. I don't know for sure. Hopefully I can figure this out and it's not gonna take too long and it's gonna work pretty effectively. We'll see. Okay, so the initial idea was to put these bottom pieces upwards like this, you know, set them upright, but they're not gonna sit there very well. If I put them this way, I have something to screw these leg bolts into. So these are like one of the only things I have laying around here, leg bolts, but it's gonna penetrate through the top two layers of wood and through this PVC pipe pretty well. Obviously, I'm going to pre-drill some holes, but this is kind of the setup so far. It's going to look like this. Um, plenty of room to put this PVC pipe underneath and hook the bands up to it. And then I will just need to cut out some slots right here and right here for the bands to go through. So hopefully I don't run into any problems here. I'm not a handy person, but we'll see if I can pull this off. So this is what I had to do. I had to grab one of these guys, drill through the boards to get the hole started. And then I got my jigsaw here that I also use for a massager. Cut out these middle holes. So I'm gonna have to sand these up. Obviously these are gonna be rough. I don't want them like cutting my bands or ripping them apart, but the PVC pipe is gonna go underneath and then the band is gonna get wrapped around the PVC pipe and come up here. And the PVC pipe is basically gonna act like a stopper let, not letting it go through there. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sand this as good as I can, and then I'm probably just gonna take like some duct tape or something, and you know, bring some tape along here, 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 all the edges there, just so I really make sure that it's smooth and these bands are not gonna get any sort of fraying on them. Here is the moment of truth right here. So, Got it all duct taped up pretty well, so there's no sharp ends for the bands to hit. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to feed the band, hopefully it fits. Oh yeah, sweet, this might actually work. I'm gonna push the band through here, and then obviously if you're just gonna do squats, it's gonna fly out of there, so I'm gonna shove this PVC pipe in there, and that is gonna keep it pinned to the bottom there. Same thing on this side. Uh, now 
probably try it out. Hopefully, get a good camera angle here. Let's change it a little bit. Make it a little bit higher. All right. Here we go. works. <laughs> it's definitely not perfect. It could be a little bit harder. Let's see if it's any harder when I alternate sides like this. Not really. Might be a little bit of tweaking here to make it a little bit harder, find different variations. Um, obviously, one of the things I could do, put my cork yoga blocks on here and just get a higher platform. I want to be a little careful that they're kind of fastened to there pretty nicely. They'll probably slide around a lot. I'll try it quick. I got one plop, plop it on my camera. So, i grab this quick. Damn it. I don't know if this is a super smart idea. Because these yoga blocks could easily slide. Yeah, my feet don't even fit fully on them. So, very easily could slide out, but I'll try it. Oh yeah, it works. Deal. I could probably find a way to get a little bit higher blocks on there to make it more challenging. But overall, I'm pretty impressed right now. Works nice. Um, it provides some good stimulus at, after about half squat and up. When you get too low, obviously the band pinch and just disappears, but it's kind of hard to really make this perfectly ideal setup because I've tried it out on this step up box before just doing it kind of a different way just putting it under there and it's super shaky and shady but i was doing that and you put the bands up on your shoulders and then you try to do squats and the band tension is so much at the top that it kind of starts pulling down your shoulders and it just doesn't work so for right now this works pretty well i'm pretty happy about it um if you guys are wondering why i'm doing this it's basically work on like I said like that upper half and upper quarter of squat and then you get the band tension so the bands really pull you down and you got to stop that before you get into a full squat so it's working on your eccentric strengthening instead of taking all the way down here to lower the resistance you stop it as soon as you can right here and that's really working your eccentric strength or your stopping strength and um, I play sand volleyball a lot of times when you're going up for a block or a hit or something. You don't have time to go into like a big step, full squat. Sometimes you just have to do it where you're ready for it and you're ready for it and all of a sudden something comes up that you're not expecting if they go over on the second hit instead of third hit or something. And you got to just go from right here to jumping. You don't have time to squat and react to it. You just got to react immediately. That's what this is going to help with. So. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video here of my homemade band squat stand. Um, worked out pretty well. All the stuff I bought from it was from Menards for 25 bucks, so pretty cheap. These big Rogue bands aren't too expensive either. I think they're like 35 or 40 bucks each. So overall, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I'll probably find ways to tweak it a little more or something, find ways to make these uh, platforms here something bigger to stand on, probably hopefully something a little more sturdy too. So all in all, I'm very happy with it though. I could probably get bigger PVC pipes too down here because these ones aren't that big and they kind of get sucked up and there's room for at least another inch down here. So if I get another inch or two of band on the floor here too, it'll definitely add some more resistance. But that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like and subscribe for some more workout videos and gear reviews. Thanks. Thought the video was going to be over and I just discovered an even better way to do this. So um, I got my one yoga block in the middle instead of two on the side. And I'm sure you know what's coming. I'm going to be doing a single leg squat. So I got a Titan Fitness single leg squat stand back there. I reviewed that before. It's an awesome piece. I never thought I'd have to have a single leg squat stand. I was just like put a sandbag on top of my stairs or whatever and put my foot on that and it worked but the single leg squat stand is just so much more comfortable it rotates it's easier to use it's definitely worth 100 bucks so if you guys are doing a lot of single leg squats check out the single leg squat stand but uh onto my band box again this is what i'm doing so come up on here squat down put them on over your shoulders then you put your foot right there, other foot on the squat box. It's awesome. <laughs> I really like that setup. So that's going to finish it for this video, for sure this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, leave a thumbs up, leave a like, leave a good comment, and subscribe.